we will start with Charlie Potter. Yeah, for Jaden, uh, last time on his radio show, uh, Coach Oates called you an unbelievable defender and how you developed in that area. Is that maybe something you've emphasized this season and, and maybe in the off season going into this year? <clears throat> yeah, 100 percent. I knew uh, to take this team to the next level, we needed to have defenders all over the floor. And uh, it was just something that I challenged myself. But, you know, Coach Oates and the rest of the staff also challenged me to do. So, you know, I feel like it was something I, I put on my, my checklist from freshman year to now just to become a better defender on the ball because, you know, that's what we need. And I want to be a defender. I love that side of the floor. So it's just something that's kind of growing on me and I really take pride in now. All right, Nick Kelly. Yeah, question for both guys. Uh, last time against Mississippi State, they snuck one out. Uh, what are you guys looking to do different this time uh, to make sure it doesn't happen again? Um, you know, there was a stretch in the second half where we really couldn't get a defensive rebound. Uh, they had they had a lot of old boards actually in that stretch, and that's kind of what changed the game for them and changed the game for us. So, you know, just coming in with a with a better mindset. You know, we got to be tougher when it comes to rebounding the basketball. Uh, you know, and just taking care of the ball. It was a close game, bunch of ties, lead changes throughout the game. So, you know, we just got to come ready. They're a really good team. They play hard, so we just got to come in with a tough mentality, and be ready to fight. Um, it's just it's just ma don't match the intensity. Just beat the intensity. That's about it. All right, Michael Casagrande. Yeah, for JD, uh, where have you uh, where have you felt like you've grown as the season's moved on? Is there was there a game that was a turning point where you felt like you maybe things started to click for you? Um, I don't think it was a game it was a turning point. I think it was just the hard work that I put in off off the court um, without the practices, and um, I think I've just grown as being a better player and a great teammate for um, my team, and I think it just helped us just get wins. All right, and we'll end with a follow-up from Charlie Potter. Yeah, for JD, as a younger guy, do you look at guys like Jaden, who's been in the program now for, for three years, and, and kind of use him as an example and, and try to pick his brain as much as possible? Yeah, I look at him as an example a lot because he one of those guys that talked to me on and off the court about basketball and, but, and without basketball. So it, he's just one of our leaders, and he just taught to be off the court just to help me go to be better. All right, Michael Crassigrande, did you have one more follow-up? Yeah, uh, for Shackleford, where have you seen JD? What, what have you seen him grow, and uh, you know, where what part of his game has grown the most? Right, uh, like you said, you know, he he's become a great teammate uh, for everybody in that locker room. You know, he cares about winning, um, and I feel like that's that's just something that I've seen him grow. He's become a leader now. Um, and, you know, obviously he has a bunch of tools to his game that improve. You know, he's a great great player, great scorer, great passer. Many things you could say about him, but I just feel like he, he's becoming a leader, uh, you know, as a freshman, and he cares about winning now. So I feel like that's huge for him and huge for us going forward. All 